Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a humongous empties video for you guys. Um, also, there's going to be a ton of little dust particles in the air. I apologize about that. Um, there's going to be a million because I've been collecting this one for, for a while now. Let's jump right into it. All right, so first thing I have are two of the St. Tropez Extra Dark Self Tanners. This is my favorite self tanner of all time. This is so, so, so stinking good. I have another self tanner in here that's like a very, very, very close second, but this is definitely my favorite self tanner of all time. It's amazing. I went through a million bottles of these. It is so good. How do I do this? I don't know. We'll put it right there. Okay, my next one is this right here. I think I only have two of these self tanners. Um, this is the LA Tan Luxury Sunless Mousse, and then this is in medium dark. Um, I have a whole entire video talking about this one. Um, love, love, love this self tanner. You can buy it at Walmart. Some Walmarts, not all Walmarts, carry it anymore, unfortunately, but you can order it online and it's super duper inexpensive. I think it's like nine bucks for the full size. This is the medium uh, or the mini, um, but it is so, so good. I highly recommend getting the medium to dark one because the dark is just not as consistent. Really, really good. Um, love it. It's just not as dark as the Saint Tropez one, and but it lasts the same amount of time. It's just not as dark. But again, I wouldn't buy the dark of this one because it's not as consistent. Okay, I have another self tanner, and this one is the Jurgens Natural Glow Instant Sun um, in deep bronze. This one's good. I used it for probably like a good two years, and I like it. I just definitely prefer the other two better. This one um, doesn't have that olive undertone like the other two do. This one has more of that like orangey undertone, which it doesn't really make you look orangey, but it's definitely not as natural as the other two because it has that olive undertone. This Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry Two Day Extender Oil Absorbing Dry Shampoo. What a name. This one, honestly, it smelt amazing, like smelt so stinking good, but it didn't really do that much in the dry shampoo department. So I definitely won't be purchasing again. Okay, and I actually have another dry shampoo just setting on here. This one is the Batiste um, dry shampoo in the scent Sweetie. I did really, really like this scent. Um, I love the Batiste dry shampoo. It's amazing, especially for the price. I think it's like five bucks and like literally five bucks for a dry shampoo. That's awesome. I think the Redken one was like eight, maybe even nine. It was like, it was more expensive than this one. I know that for sure. Um, but you can get it for like five bucks at like Walmart and this scent was really, really good. I liked it a lot. I also really like the tropical scent, and there's another scent that smells really, really good too. All right, the next one is another dry shampoo. Holy crap. This one is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I use a lot of dry shampoos, you guys. Every single year, whenever Sephora comes out, actually I think it comes out with it like multiple times, whenever Sephora comes out with the mini kits of the dry shampoo, I always buy it. It is an amazing deal, y'all pick it up next time they have it it's an amazing deal love it um and so that one this one was in it really good dry shampoo um especially if you go like a really really long time without um washing your hair like if you only wash your hair once a week then this one's awesome for it like it is it really gets in there and like takes that excess oil off i wouldn't recommend it if you, like, you do wash your hair like three times a week um, you don't need something like this hardcore. I feel like this one's like a really hardcore dry shampoo And I feel like it's really really good for those people who only wash their hair once a week um, Honestly, even if you washed your hair like once every two weeks This is the dry shampoo for you. It is really 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 good for whenever you go a very extended period of time without washing your hair Okay, oh my gosh more hair products. There's so many this is my favorite thing of all time. This is the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. Love this one. I know on some of, some of the products I wrote on there um, how many I went through because I didn't want this, because this box was overflowing and so I had to kind of condense it down a little bit. <laughs> so I know on some of them I have written how many times, like how many bottles were actually in here before I kind of cleaned it out a little bit. I know I cleaned out my trash, what? <laughs> Um, I actually went through two bottles of this. This is the mini size. I usually get the full size, but I had the mini size last year for vacation. Um, 
and I finally went through the mini size because I only use the mini size if I like went somewhere like you know stayed overnight somewhere um, but this is amazing this is my favorite hair product of all time especially with my short hair um, it just adds so much volume and it is the best smelling stuff in the entire world I love it I can't go without this I need to buy more though because I'm on my like last bottle I usually buy multiple bottles at a time I'm on my last bottle so I need to buy more because I never ever like to be without it <laughs> um, and then I've actually went through three full size and then one mini of the Saturday skin, which why is that color so different? Weird. <laughs> Look how different that color is. Or maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know what that color is. But I went through the small one first. I loved it so much. And then I went through three of the full size. And But this is the Saturday Skin Feather White Feather Weight. <laughs> this is the Saturday Skin Feather Weight Daily Moisturizing Cream. It is so stinking good if you have dry skin. I will say, it is kind of like fancy. <laughs> um, it's like forty something dollars, almost fifty dollars for a moisturizer, and it doesn't last in a like crazy amount of time. Um, it doesn't last a super long time. I'm just trying to see if I. Okay, this is literally how much you get. You don't get very much at all. Like, you really don't. Uh, but it's just so good that it's kind of, like, worth it <laughs> to me because I love it so much. And I found that it doesn't cause a reaction to my skin or anything. Um, usually, by this time, I would have gotten used to a moisturizer and I wouldn't be able to use it anymore because my skin would have, like, kind of almost like built up like an immune immunity to it or something and it started causing an allergic reaction um but so far so good really really big fan of this will 100 percent repurchase okay and then i see another dry shampoo this is the mini batiste dry shampoo in tropical love this definitely will buy this again all right and then this is the clinical strengths um deodorant from secret and this is in the ooh la lavender scent which is my favorite scent i do prefer the gel better but this one's a really good one too which i have used that deodorant since sixth grade and um i've only ever used one other deodorant in its place and i hated it it was another one from secret but i did just buy a new one from the secret brand and so far i'm really liking it it's a like cheaper than that but it seems to be around i'll leave it down in the description box down below what it is but it seems kind of be very very similar to that one and it's literally like six dollars cheaper because that one is literally eleven dollars um and the other one is five that i'm using so so far i've been having the same results i don't know okay the next thing is this l'oreal um color rista spray the one day color and this is in the shade pastel pink 10 um so I, on the back of this on a regular basis all right on the back of things um what i felt about it just on like th different things just to make sure that i actually remember how i legitimately felt about this and on the back i literally just put no and underlined it four times no <laughs> just just no i used this for a halloween costume I'll insert the picture right here because it was so stinking cute. And it stained my hair. Straight up stained my hair pink. Could not get it out. Washed it a million and ten times. Could not get it out. It stained my hair. And not in like a cute little pink way. No. It stained my hair in like a terrible, awful, gross way. It did not look even pink. It was like a reddish brass, ugly ass color. It was terrible. It was horrible. No. Just don't use it. Don't use it. Okay, right, the next thing is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I've actually went through two of these, but I already threw the other one away. Definitely going to repurchase it. It's amazing. All okay, right, the next one is this Pink Confetti um, Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. I don't know if they have this scent anymore, but it's an awesome scent. Love it. Took me forever to go through it, so that's how you know. Um, like... I don't even think they have the scent anymore. That's how you know. It took me forever to go through a body cream. Ugh, my legs are hurting. Okay. 
The next thing is another dry shampoo. This one is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. I've actually used three of these, two of the full size and then this mini one. Um, again, like I said, I always buy those mini kits. They're the best. This is my favorite dry shampoo that I have ever tried. It is so good. It is expensive though, um, like compared to Batiste. I can get something very, very similar, you know, similar results just for a fraction of the price is like, I think like $23 for the full size. Whereas I could pay like five or maybe even $7 at Ulta for the Batiste. So I will purchase it again in like a kit, but I don't think I'll buy the full size again because that's expensive for a dry shampoo. Okay, the next thing is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. This is just a little mini one um, that I got in a kit. Love it, really, really good shower gel. If you are looking for a new shower gel, highly recommend this one. Um, I probably won't purchase the full size or um, like the mini, um, just because like, I don't know, I never ever use shower gel. I don't think it really lasts that long. I'm just a dial soap kind of girl. I know a lot of people are like, ew, that's gross. But I just really love, or actually not dial soap. Um, what the heck is that called? Brandon, what soap do we use? Irish Spring, the Irish Spring soap. Literally use that my entire life, love it. Um, just don't really use shower gel that much. Okay, the next one is the Ula Henriksen, the Clean Truth Foaming Cleanser. This one was okay. Pra I definitely won't buy the full size. Um, this took me forever to get through because I just was so sick of it. It was just kind of annoying. Um, it, it just kind of sucked, but it, it wasn't terrible. Okay, and then I have a mini of the Laura Mercier. Like I said, definitely already purchased it. It's so good. There are so many dust particles. That's how you know how old stuff is. All right, and then this is the Becca Skin, or no, that's not it. This is the Becca Black Light Priming Filter. Favorite primer of all time. I've actually went through three of these. There was three in here. Again, threw them out. My favorite, 100% gonna repurchase. Love it. The next thing is the um, Bosha Baby Soft Foot Pill. This actually worked. I'm in, I'm shocked. It actually really did work. Um, it really took like the dead skin off of your feet. I will say it doesn't last very long after it takes your like the dead skin off your feet. It doesn't like have that feeling for a super long time, but it worked. It does take your dead skin off. It is $20 though for a one time use, which is insane. Okay. The next one is the ultra repair cream. This one took me forever to go through. Um, it is a good moisturizer, but I probably won't repurchase again. I've just found other moisturizers that I like a lot more. Okay, the next thing is two of the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. So I have the normal size, which I went through three of these, and then this is the jumbo size that they had last Christmas, not um, 2018, but 2017, I think they came out with this one. Maybe, I don't know. But this is one of my favorite moisturizers. I love this. Unfortunately, this was a moisturizer that I've grown Kind of like immune to i just used it so much that my skin just doesn't like it anymore so i won't be repurchasing sadly maybe eventually years from now i may repurchase and see and hopefully it will work for me again because it is a really good moisturizer and for 38 dollars it's not a bad deal and you don't go through very much of, at all so it's awesome all right and then this is the becca first first light priming filter this was just like a little mini one that i bought um to take on vacation with me last year Love this one, really, really good. Oh, don't love it as much as the black light, but it's really, really great for something um, that's a little bit more hydrating and more of like a glow from within. Okay, the next one is the Varsali Unicorn Essence. Love this bad boy. Um, I've actually went through two of these and then I'm on my third. It is so stinking good, love it. It's amazing, it smells amazing. It's really, really good if you um, are wanting something for like no makeup makeup days where you just want to throw on like that as a primer and then just put on a little bit of concealer. It looks so flawless on the skin. Love it. Oh, okay, and then I went through two concealers. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and then this one is the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Both of these are really, really good. I do prefer, oops, I do prefer the Wet n Wild one. Really, really, really amazing for the price. Highly recommend checking it out. 
All right, and then I've actually went through three of these. These are the Ula Hendrickson The Truth on the Glow Cleansing Cloths. These are some amazing cleansing cloths, but they are so expensive for cleansing cloth. They're literally, I think like 12 bucks, maybe eight, eight or $12. Can't remember how much, like how expensive, but you only get 30, which is kind of crazy, especially whenever I buy the ones from Walmart where you get like 150 for $5. So very expensive. I don't know, maybe if I'm feeling like super duper bougie one day, I may repurchase, but as of right now, probably not. Okay, and then this I just threw out because it's so old. Um, this is the Holster, Holster? This is the Holster um, perfume in Malaya. It smells so good. This was literally my scent in high school. This is nine years old. So I got it whenever I was in high school. And I've been out of high school like five, six years. I don't even know, math is hard. Uh, this is old. And you can tell it's not the color that it should be. It looks disgusting, so I'm just throwing it away. But y'all, that smell. Honestly, I may literally go onto the Holster's website and look. Why does it sound so weird for me to say Holster? Holster? Holster. Uh, I don't know why that sounds so weird, but it does. I may go on the website and see if they still carry that because I'm gonna buy it because it smells so good. And it stuck with me. That's like one of the best perfumes that have stuck with me. Okay. Then this is the Purity Made Simple um, cleanser. I went through two of these, uh, a full size, and then this mini, and then like a, another like smaller mini um, that I got like in a sample. Love this one, really, really good cleanser. It's amazing, especially if you have sensitive skin. And then the, this is, ooh, this is a unique eye pencil, um, just like a black eyeliner. All right, not that, it, you know, not anything to write home about. And then this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I have no idea what I wrote on there. No idea. I think I went through two of these. I think that's what that says. Really, really good one. Love this brow pencil, but I have recently been using the Precisely My Brow and I may like it a little bit more. Maybe, maybe, I think so. Okay, and then this is the uh, Bite Agave. This isn't the lip mask. This is the I think this is just the lip balm. Um, this is okay. It's it's not that great. I don't really like it. It just kind of made my lips feel kind of sticky. Okay, then I have another concealer. This one's the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Um, this one's good if you just need like a little bit of coverage. It's not very much at all. It's very, very light. So it would honestly be really good if you have like blemishes or something just because it's like so um, thin that it's not going to like cake up or anything like that. And honestly, it, it really is good for that under eye area because since it's such a thin consistency but it's just not going to add a lot of coverage so it's not really going to help with like the dark circles okay and then this is the kate somerville eradicate um, acne treatment i went through two of these love this treatment really really good um, i've heard that it's very very similar to the mario Badescu one haven't tried that one yet that one's probably going to be the next one that i try after i use up the one that i'm currently using okay and the next thing i have is the um just this little mini from sol de janeiro the brazilian bum bum cream love this amazing smells so stinking good don't really know if it tightens never really used it for that only used it as like an actual like lotion on my skin uh really love the smell though amazing smell okay and then this is the Vir virgin marula luxury facial oil just a little bit mi mini from drug elephant didn't like this kind of thought it sucked definitely think you can find something way 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 cheaper that works the exact same. All right, and then this is the Lash Food Eyelash Enhancer and the Eyebrow Enhancer. I honestly didn't really notice any kind of difference, but with that being said, I think this is so tiny that you're not gonna notice a difference because there was hardly any in there, and I think I only used it for two weeks and I didn't notice anything. All right, and then I went through a little mini of the Saint. Love the Saint, I have the full size, amazing. And then I went through two of the Kat Von D liners. One of them is the ink liner, and then the other is the tattoo liner. I do prefer the tattoo liner. It just stays in place so much better than the ink liner. And then I have a little mini of the Varsali Unicorn Essence. Love it. Amazing. And I actually went through two, which is crazy for me, y'all. Crazy. Two of the Blistex lip balm. My favorite lip balm of all time. I have one literally in my purse, in my car, in my desk over there, um, by my bed. 
Um, I probably have one in the kitchen somewhere. Basically every single room in the house um, because it's my favorite lip balm of all time and my lips get chapped 24 7. Okay, and then I also have the Sugar Fresh um, lip treatment. This one is, what am I on? Oh, I put love, this is the best. Um, this is a really, really, really good lip balm. If you have like insanely dry lips, I highly recommend this one. I don't recommend the tinted ones because I do think that they're just like a little bit different because I think something with the tint in there just makes them not as good. Um, but this one right here, this brown one right here, no other one, this one, is the best lip balm in the entire world if you have really, really dry, just cracky, just a hot mess of lips. This one is the best one in the entire world. I love it. So good, 100% will repurchase. And then the very last item that I have is Campsite Coffee from Bath & Body Works. Y'all, mm, literally smells like a coffee shop in a candle form. It is so good. I'm sure y'all have heard about this one because it's so singing good. Oh my God, it smells literally amazing. We'll 100% buy this if Bath & Body Works comes with it, comes out with it again. Fingers crossed they do because it is amazing. But that is it for this empties video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, it's probably gonna be super duper long because let's face it, that was a super long video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.